Sunday, the first day of summer. For some, this is an exciting time filled with fun. For others, like Marine Corps Air Station Iwakuni's utilities office, summer brings new challenges, like keeping the base power consumption below its max. During the summertime, uh, on a peak afternoon, we'll reach, uh, we'll reach very closely to our peak demand. The temperature affects uh, greatly our uh, energy consumption, uh, and that's driven uh, by air conditioning uh, within our facilities. When MCAS Iwakuni is close to going over its allotted power consumption, it enters a condition called a greenout. So we're continuously monitoring the, the amount of power that the installation is consuming at our substation. And when we reach about 95% of our, our peak electricity demand, that's when we put out the green out message asking people to voluntarily reduce consumption. It's easy to understand what a green out is. What's more difficult is why. Green out conditions exist because any time the base uses too much power, it can cost a lot of money. Consider it like this. Think of your cell phone data usage. Let's say you have a 10 gigabyte data plan. One month you use 15 gigabytes of data and you have to pay a penalty, as well as now pay the 15 gigabyte data plan for the next year, no matter how little you may actually use. If you as a user just look around in your office space or at home and start minimizing extra heat loads, like you have two TVs on, simple things like this, whatever lowers your heat load will lower the energy consumption because the AC unit is not going to be turned down the extra two, three degrees for you to get, feel comfortable. It's pretty simple. When you leave the office or your home, don't forget to turn off the lights and turn the AC lower. No one's asking you to be uncomfortable, just a little thoughtful. Reporting from Marine Corps Air Station Iwakuni, Japan, I'm Marine Sergeant Jonathan House.